Hello, 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 my friends. My name is Craig Chamberlain. This is the PCM Tech Help Show at PCMTechHelp.com. Remember, I have 80 free downloads at my website. I've collected them over a million years. Okay, not that long, but over a, a long period of time working and being a geek in IT. So check those out at my website. Now, today's video, we're gonna be doing another unboxing. Don't mind me, I'm just looking down here so I can tell you exactly what it is. It is the Western Digital WD Blue WD5000 AAKX. 500 gigabytes, 7200 RPM, serial ATA, 6 gigabytes per second, 3.5 inch internal hard drive, bare drive. Now, the difference between a bare drive, B-A-R-E, not B-E-A-R, because that would be weird. A bare drive and a retail drive is the bare drive is just in a nice little black, I mean brown box. This particular unit cost me $69.99 as of the making of this video. And let's go ahead and get it open. Now, as I said, it came in a brown box. So, got a piece of tape here. Cut that open. And open her up and put the movie. What do we got? Whoa! It's a, it's a hard drive in a box. All right? I got these fancy little end cushions, which is awesome, by the way, because there's nothing worse than having a hard drive thrown around in packaging and in shipping. I cannot emphasize enough. Make sure you choose a decent carrier. If you're ever, if you're not going to get it from Newegg, Newegg always ships from UPS. I, I love UPS. But if you're going to order a hard drive, make sure you order it from a carrier who will ship it properly. These suckers can be damaged in shipping, and you won't know it until six months after you bought it. This is just a na the nature of the beast. Okay, it's got tape in it. It's got a lot of electronics in it. It's just be careful, okay? Especially if you're ordering like on eBay, which I'm, I'm not against eBay, that's fine, but make sure you order it from somebody reputable. Now, they have the static free bag, which is of course for freeing static. Just kidding, it's for keeping the item from not getting static. Oh, it's got a nice little notch here so I can just tear it open, wow. And then I slide it out of the package and shiny. Shiny. I had to make sure it was shiny for you because I couldn't sell you on the shiny if it wasn't actually shiny. Now, if you actually look at this here, we have a, let me make sure you can see it. You might not be able to see it even in HD. My camera kind of sucks. But we have a 500 gigabyte unit, 7200 RPM. Firmware is the A0 firmware, blah, blah, blah. Interfaces, serial ATA, and you have the full part number, and you have all the other discrepancies and things that come with a hard drive. Now, if you look at the bottom of the unit, you have a couple options here as well. As you can see, you have your traditional jumpers here, which never get used anymore, but you also have your standard serial ATA power cable and serial ATA data. Now, if you've never installed a hard drive before, it's incredibly easy to do, assuming you bought one that's compatible with your machine. Your motherboard will have a cable, a data cable, that will plug into this one. It'll be about yay big and it'll plug into the data section and your power supply should have one big enough to plug into the power section. And you plug in one and you plug in the other after you have mounted it on the side screws in your case. Installing a hard drive is not that difficult. Most modern operating systems such as Windows after you boot it up will detect the drive automatically for you and then you can just go in there and format it. And that's it. You might not even need to format it. It's probably pre-formatted usually uh, in NTFS. So that's all there is to this video. This is the Western Digital 500 gigabyte drive. And uh, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, have you do you have a hard drive horror story? I'm, I'm a little curious about that. Do you have a hard drive horror story? Leave it in the comments below. I may, yeah, I may, I may really respond to some good ones because I, I kind of have some horror stories too. But I don't want to share it. That's not really for the length of this video or on subject. But uh, as always, I'm on every social network you can imagine. Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. No, not MySpace. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, uh, LinkedIn. Uh, oh, dude, I can't even imagine. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time. Everything's completely free. And uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.